longer a regional player. We are no longer a regional policy influencer. Globally, we have a leadership which is clear-headed clear within India, which is able to make a difference globally. And as a result, when you look at it, the, the global commons are going to be policy-wise determined by India as much as with a few established powers. And in that, the global maritime commons have a very big role to play. And when you're talking of maritime commons, it is just not, again, consistent with what I've just laid before you. Consistent with that, it, we are not an Ind Indian Ocean player alone. We are looking at India Pacific. And that helps in understanding for all of us as to why we are no longer just talking about Indian Ocean region, but we're also talking about a wider common, which is the Indian o Indo Pacific commons. And in that, what is it that all of us want? And I'm sure all of us are quite seized of this universally acceptable point, and that is rights to navigation, freedom of navigation. That can never be challenged. And any situation which is going to be posing a question about freedom of navigation will have to be taken up seriously by all of us. And we belong to that multipolar world where we want to be clear that the freedom to navigate can never be unilaterally or arbitrarily questioned by anybody. And we are very clear in saying that this is a rules-based order globally, and no one or no regional power or no group of countries, just a few of them, have, should have the right to unilaterally change this order. And if that is the way in which and if that's the way in which we want to see the global uh, decision-making, strategic matters, or when we confine our discussions to the maritime rights, I think it's important to recognize a rules-based order, rights, and also freedom to navigate, and above all, recognize that no one power or a group of powers or a regional power or no one has the right to change any of this unilaterally.